the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what I'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here. Uh, we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least I use this one. It still focus on the steal, kill, and destroy. But I did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the the doctrine of discovery. So the Catholic, the Catholic folk is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse you don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity as an excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out in A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. But it says right here, the doctrine, and that's what we're talking about. They use that to discover, like Christopher Columbus discovered, you know, the, uh, America. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> his doctrine, it's called a doctrine. They discovered people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, and you can see, this is probably how they look, right? This is a good enactment of these people coming up there. They probably got scriptures that we got a letter from the Pope. Yeah. But it's a doctrine of discovery. It's a series of papal decrees issued by the Catholic Church in the 15th century. Yeah, they occurred. read something to somebody who don't speak their language. Don't, oh, come and on. don't even read come on. what they have written down. Don't even know who they're talking about. And this depiction right here, 
I can only imagine how filthy and nasty and stanky these people were for they being were. that shit for all that time. They, their clothes wasn't clean. Nope. Nope. But, and then you can almost see that they, that same filth and smell was also indicative of their actions. Yeah. Because they, they, they smashed babies on the rocks. Uh, they, they, they raped people. Yeah. I mean, they fed, they fed children of color to alligators. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It then the, 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 the torture way beyond what Christ went through, burning somebody alive. Yeah. Selling their pieces of their bodies. Uh, oh, man. It's just, it's just bad. But this in is what. The, in the name of, of Christianity. Yes, they did. Yeah. Look, look, even on Thanksgiving. The first Thanksgiving when you had cooperation with the Native Americans. Yeah, who, who kept they, them alive. And then a few years later, they actually went out there and massacred. Yeah. They gave thanks for doing that type of behavior. Thanks for giving us the strength to, to kill you off. And, and it, it's just, just, we just want people to know if they read the scriptures, they it went, their actions was aligned with the scriptures, not no, no. The, the actions that they did with some pope. Some human being. It, 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 it was lust of the flesh. It's what the flesh desired again, and so they just use Christianity yeah. as a a a crutch. Yeah. Wolves and sheep clothing. Yeah. Hey, let's call it what it is: wolves and sheep sheep clothing. Uh, the doctrine was used to justify colonization, and that's not only just in America, it was in Africa, and throughout the world, really. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they went all over the world doing this stuff to spread. Look at it. Look, look, that's that's what it's it, to spread Christianity. You know what I mean? It's, it, how do you? It, it doesn't square, does it? But it, it does not square. But, but but this is the thing. The the shadow or the 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 cover was Christianity, mm. but the motive in the behavior. The motive was rich in power. Yeah, all about power. Yeah. In power. Yeah. And they used Christianity to do that. Exactly. That, exactly. That, that's all that was. It was always about wealth and power. Mm. But they used Christianity as the tool to de-arm people. Yeah, they said they used the the, uh, the missionaries not only came to try to teach the doctrine, they also used the spies. They would go and map out yeah the country yeah and they, they basically give information and report back to to the uh, to that government. Mm -hmm. Then when they came, they knew exactly look look they knew exactly who they were coming for. They knew exactly where they were going. Yes. Why? Because the missionaries gave all that information. Yeah. You, take, said, you take this person down, then these people are going to fall. You yeah. do this, then these people ain't going to have no no escape. Nope. I heard, <laughs> I heard recently they said is that the, uh, in Africa, remember Africa is trying to unite, right? Uh, yeah. I, I heard recently that there's there's some activity going on where they're actually trying to start targeting those leaders in those countries, you know, to try mm -hmm. to keep try to keep them from spreading that unity. Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's a trip. And look, matter of fact, in this look at this article. Look at the last piece of article. Look at this piece right here. A second paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. the Catholic Church has not, has not, has not officially revoked the doctrine of discovery. Mm -hmm. But it has been criticized by many Catholic leaders and organizations. In 2016, Pope Francis stated that the doctrine was not in right conscience and called for a true cultural revolution to overcome it. In 2021, the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops issued a statement acknowledging the harm caused by the doctrine and calling for its repudiation. And it's like, wait a minute, what, what, what? you the lead? First of all, Pope, you you are the leader, right? You can you can just tell people we're gonna come together, and have a council, and revoke this thing officially. 
He could so just do it. He, he had the authority to just do it. Right. Since he had the authority to write those letters. Yeah. Him, not him personally, but those other posts before him. Yeah. Right? It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. But they have not officially took that doctrine away. In general, the Catholic Church has been working to address his roles in colonization and his impact on indigenous people. 2015, Pope Francis apologized for the church role in colon, colon, colonialism in Bolivia and asked for forgiveness from indigenous people. The church has also been involved in efforts to promote reconciliation, which is what? That is a scripture call, right? Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Reconciliation with indigenous people, such as through the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada. And you almost said, say, what, what, what about Africa? Right? Are you going to Africa too? Uh, are you coming to the United States? Not only the Native Americans, but guess what? There's some people that was brought here, not by their own free choice. And the same thing that they did in Africa, as far as the indoctrination and Ooh, the brutality. They did it here. Isn't that something? This Brother, is man. I said something powerful. Because as soon as you started talking <laughs> after you read that, it broke up. And I couldn't hear nothing. You was, it was just gibberish. Oh, really? Yeah. Everything you said was gibberish until you finished. Then you came back in. <laughs> You, you can hear me now? See, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta work on my, my look on my tools and sign the uh, equipment is getting loose. The cables are getting loose. Do they do the, the box that you put them in? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're starting to get loose. So I move around, then it, it's gonna get loose and act jacked up. Yeah, um, but I mean, that, that was so canny how that happened. Right when you started summarizing this, it just, it, 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 it just garbled right up. Deep. That's why as look. soon as you stop, <laughs> you came back in. Hey, I'm being jammed. Hey, <laughs> but, I don't but, know what you said, but it was powerful. It must know, have been. It, it, but the thing, like I said, is that we, this, 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 I mean, at least it's of the Catholic Church. The fact is that they have not officially, you, you said, you even said it. He could, he could change that. He can fix that now, right? Yeah. You don't have to go and just apologize. You can officially revoke something that obviously people have been using today. You know, for discrimination, uh, it's part of the system. It's been part of the system. You know, so we need to. We really, as calf, as, as as believers, the hope I'm saying is at least they're trying to apologize. The, 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 the bad thing about it, they're not officially doing it. Same thing with a lot of the presidents, right? This con Congress won't let them officially apologize for what they did to African Americans in this country. Because they don't want to, they don't want to pay them. Look, this is how they think about it. We don't want to pay this money. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, not you only know, you don't want, go ahead. The, the issue with me is, out of out of all the people that they're that they're reconciling, they will do every nationality but those who were made slaves. Yeah, it's almost like because it's still to me it's like this: the doctrine of discovery is still in effect. It's an institution. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't really. It boggles my mind, and then the fact that. Uh, the states can 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 give to those that it harmed to every nationality but people of color. Well, the problem is that they can't. This is what they're saying. This is at least my understanding. See what we did to the what not we what happened in the Holocaust. What happened with the the, the, the internment camps for the people from Japan, they, I can, they can afford to pay some type of compensation for them. But when you're talking about the entire wealth of a nation built on the backs of slaves, how much money do you think you would cause to repay for that? You know, they don't have to repay. They could do something like 
we don't pay taxes. Since we built it, why are we paying taxes? Exactly. Why? why? Yeah. You know, why, why, is, why is it that people who come into this nation, they get uh, twice the government aid that people have covered, maybe even three times as much. Right. Help. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 and they, they get established. This right. is everyone who comes in. I think the problem is, I, I still think, because they don't want, they, as soon as they acknowledge the wrongdoing, they feel they have to do compensation and they don't want to do it. And like you're saying, it, why don't you make it this way? Like some, I think some university, I think you and I talked about it. There's some universities are doing that as far as people that were descendants of slaves that was, you know, have to build their schools. Mm -hmm. They can go to, they can go to that school for free. Yeah. Yeah. And like you're saying too, as far as this country, look, we, but look, that's why we don't have health care like other countries. Yeah. Because they want to make sure we don't get it. Yeah. So, that's ridiculous. They they rather die themselves. Yes, sir. Than to the, than to help everyone. Yes, sir. Because look, this social construct. I'm better. Well, yeah. I'm better than Brother Addison based well, on this social construct. Regardless of the fact that he got a better education, better leadership, yeah. I I can feel. I feel I got something. And, and then you and, also have to understand that if they change anything mm. then the the upper class will have to start doing for themselves they do it wouldn't matter how much money you have mm. if everyone can take care of themselves to where they don't have to do for these people anymore mm. you know what i'm saying somebody has to clean somebody has to remove the trash somebody has to cook the food somebody has to serve Somebody has to take care of the hotels. Somebody has to take care of the gas station. Not everybody can have a gas station. Not everybody can own a hotel. Right. You know, who, who's going to actually do the, the small stuff? Yeah. Interesting. Now, I mean, that, that, applies, to, that applies to a lot of people, though, right? That applies uh, to the, 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 the functioning of this world. Exactly. This exactly. world is set on that, and without it, if 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 it, it the only place that exists in that manner is heaven, mm. where hey. everything is provided for everyone. Yeah, yeah. God and Eve, right when they was in paradise, yes. everything was provided for them. They didn't need no janitors, they didn't need <laughs> no cooks or nothing. <laughs> Man. So so really, they said, look. If you mess my system up all the way, who's going to take care of us? Yeah. Wow, you know. So that's the that's the whole point about this. So we know this doctrine uh, was used, and that's why if people read the Bible for themselves, they wouldn't let that stuff happen. I did put this scripture there because I think there's hope, right? Look at that. Look at right. Look at that scripture for you. Read that for us there. You know, there's hope. Isaiah 61. Yeah. Arise, shine. For the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For, behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Yes. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Mm, upon thee. His glory, his glory shall be seen upon thee. See, you see, like Moses. Yeah, yeah. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Come on now. And king to the brightness of thy rising. Yes, great people. Yeah, lift up thine eyes around about. Come on and now. See. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. They come. Thy sons shall come from come from far. Yes. Sir. Thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Come on now. Then thou shalt see. Yes. Flow together. Yes. Thy heart shall fear. Yes. Be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. Yes, sir. Forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. And I think the only reason they fear is like, oh Lord, man, this is real. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, yeah. like they're like, they come into us. They come into people who are actually the light is shining. Yeah. They're seeing 
light and darkness. It's interesting when you look at John three sixteen. Remember, we said when we read the rest of that, it's talk about the fact about the the, the coming to the light, and then there's people who don't want to come to the light because they don't want their deeds exposed to you know exposed. But it's talking about the fact the importance of coming so that people can see salvation. And this is this is all I'm saying is happening. I think even with the Catholic apologizing uh, is the beginning of that light trying to shine out of darkness. It also represents the end times too, because uh, I think it's going to get to a certain point and say it's time to go. Uh, pop smoke. Because the Antichrist, you know, the devil, I think the devil wouldn't come in the Antichrist. I think he's coming when he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. I it's can't talk, have this. I can't have this. Yeah. I, you know, the, the, the stuff we're trying to talk about encouraging reading the Bible, they, they don't want that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Don't, don't encourage you to read the Bible. I want them to let their pastor read to them. You know, the ones that lie and cheat and steal. Yeah. I yeah. want them to read to them. Wow. As long as they can keep them from, from trying to understand who they are mm. i was i would too uh, and, and, and to and to 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 get before uh their god and 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 to worship him so that he can he can pull them close mm. and and prevent me from moving mm. in and through them and manipulating as long as i can keep them from doing that mm then they'll always be separated and apart and never know yeah. the power and authority that they walk in. And, and, and that's where we are. We, we, we've lost the ability to move the masses yeah. because we're trying to hoard the masses. Yeah, and we're not helping them. Because I was sitting there, it was funny, I went to uh, uh, near World, World Changes uh, yesterday as I was heading back. Mm -hmm. And it's on Old National Highway going toward Roberta Road. Mm -hmm. When you turn in, you see this beautiful facility, marble floors, you know, beautiful mm -hmm. dome. That's beautiful. But you know how many businesses that were didn't happen or fell apart? Or looking, you know, there's some trash going toward it. You oh, yeah, the, the streets before that. Yes. Yeah. The decay. Yeah. How, how did that happen? It, and, and the thing is that these ministries, all of them, mega ministries to medium sized ministry, how much investing are you doing in the community? Yeah. You, 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 you. But, it, but this is my thing. If, if you invest in the people, the people are from the community. Yes. So if you invest in the in the people, then the community changes. Yes. But don't invest in the church to yes. build the church up and make the church, you know, uh, more expensive and elaborate than it needs to be. Yes. If if you if you if you use the resources mm -hmm. so that no one is lacking. Just like in the first church, right? Then the community becomes in one accord, and then everyone has pride in what they have, and then you you take care of something that that belongs to you, or that you you and, and you your love for one another grows. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because your concerns are being taken care of. You know what I'm, yeah, and, and you 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 get your investment back. Oh yeah, because those familiar that know where their help came from. Yeah, will continue to give to them. Yes, right. Because if you if how could you not love back? Exactly. When somebody in your at your lowest point, somebody loved you. Exactly. And 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 that's what it's all about. It's all about love. If and you I, love yeah. somebody enough so that you don't have to have a 10 bedroom home when it's just you and your wife mm, mm. that and you it, want to sow into these people who don't even have a home they have a you know apartment that they can't even furnish or pay all their bills or eat three meals a day 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let alone <laughs> riding public transportation. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with public transportation because a lot of people actually do need to, to get off these streets. You know, all these cars off these streets, but right. uh, it's just... It's just a return it, to investment to me. It's like I said, even education, right? Yeah. yeah. Let the people go to school for free. Yeah. Let them compete to the school, the class, the school they want to go to. Yeah. Uh, and you'll get a return in the investment. Yeah. States do do that. A lot of states do do something like engineering. Yeah, they, they they give scholarships, but they want you to stay in the state for six years. Yeah, uh, so that they can get a return on the investment. Yeah, uh, and, 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 and they can do that. They can they can say, okay, well, look, you know, we 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 need our grounds taken care of. Yeah, we are invest in you. You invest in us. Yeah, you know, you got you got three kids. Send them over here on a on a weekend. Right. And, and if you get, I mean, these churches have hundreds of kids, these mega churches. Imagine all them coming on, on a weekend. It wouldn't even take an hour for them to do what needs to be done around that place. When you think about it, it can go that way. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them up in uh, 25, 30 minute segments. And I try to bring them up A, B, C, and D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the, even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing and addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take their culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of the gospel is all about. And that's why I'm trying to t encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn to be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead toward the things of the flesh, opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come by hearing, it comes by hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even Lord's Prayer, the daily prayer, the will of God is the, the, the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. Hey, I'm really glad you took time to listen to our session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate the, old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well, if you have the time, let you get an audio book. I like I like audio books, right? Where the the, the the person is reading the scriptures for me. Because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audio book or app on your phone that reading the scripture and read that one chapter a day. I guarantee you'll love it because you're listening. Faith comes back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different wordings that you may not be able to pronounce. That's just me. I mean, you probably pronounce everything. But for me, I like to read all, I like the other books to read with me. So that's what I encourage me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. And thank you again for listening, and thank you for your support. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.